Warning, sensitive content. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. I became vegan because deep in my soul, I knew that I didn't want to hurt animals. And I think I knew from a child, but even before I knew what vegan was. Supreme Master Qinghai thankfully present Catherine Kellar and the New South Wales Hand Rescue with the Shining World Compassion Award plus a humble contribution of 10,000 US dollars in cheerful support of your loving efforts with gratitude and well wishes. May heavens always guide your noble work and protect you, your team, and the precious animal people. Catherine Kellar, Vegan. The Heroic Rescue of Hand People, Part 1 of 2. Continue watching to find out more. Making war? Don't you feel people hate you enough already? Greetings, noble viewers. Danete means how are you in the Dogrip language spoken by the Klichon First Nation of Canada. I'm Eddie. The Klichon people wish you have peace of mind and contented days. Welcome to today's show, Catherine Kelleher, Vegan, the Heroic Rescuer of Hand People, Part 1 of 2. Catherine Kelleher is an author, vegan activist, and a heroine in the hearts and eyes of countless souls from the animal people kingdom, particularly the hand persons. Catherine was born and raised in England, and in 2006, after settling in Sydney, Australia, she steadfastly continues to save animal persons' lives and protect nature by running the New South Wales Hen Rescue, NSW Hen Rescue. Catherine recounts how it all began and what led her to start operating the organization. I started the rescue in 2010 and the aim is to get these darling little chickens out of battery cages and into loving homes. So usually when the chickens are 18 months old, they get sent to slaughter because they're past their use by date, I guess. But what we do is say, we want to give them a chance to have a beautiful life. So I spoke to a farmer and I just said, can I please have some of these chickens to give them a chance he thought I was totally crazy he was saying things to me like you do realize they're not going to lay many eggs now I said it's, it's not about that it's about giving them a chance anyway it took quite some convincing but in the end I went and rescued 350 <laughs> because I realized that other people wanted to help so I was able to place them in these lovely homes and all of the girls who maybe have disabilities I call them our little and brave crew Catherine's actions not only save lives, but bring attention to the dire circumstances, living conditions and exploitation the chicken people are subjected to for their flesh or for their eggs, destined for human consumption. An article published this year on January 21st by Statista reports the number of chickens worldwide has more than doubled since 1990. In 2020, there were some 33 billion chickens in the world, up from 14.3 billion chickens in 2000. Catherine explains how the seed of compassion had sprouted forth very early and why she became vegan. I became vegan because deep in my soul, I knew that I didn't want to hurt animals. And I think I knew from a child, but even before I knew what vegan was. And one day, my mum and dad took me to a petting zoo and you got to bottle feed the lambs and pet the piglets. And I was bottle feeding a lamb. And that day we went home and my mum had cooked lamb for dinner. And it, as an eight year old, I just thought, no, I'm not eating. I'm not eating this. And that was it. I was vegetarian. 
It took me a little bit longer to work out about being vegan as I grew up, but that's what it all came down to, just being kind to animals. Being kind to our animal people companions was something Catherine wanted to expand on. After catching a glimpse of the cruelty untold animal persons suffer to become food on a plate, she knew she had to take a stand for these innocent captives. So I started uh, going to animal liberation meetings when I was becoming vegan and I would learn all about local issues and how to get involved and I just felt that if I could do anything at all, even the tiniest action, it's worth it because if we all did that, it would become a huge action. And so I began doing things like going to protest, whether it was animals in the circus or maybe animal testing, just protesting, of course, peaceful protests in the area. I'd write letters um, to the editor of newspapers. Uh, of course, the actual rescuing animals. And as I just did more and more of that, I began to get more involved and I guess more trusted. So that's when I started taking part in investigations in some really horrible places, you know, where they do abuse animals, like in farms and slaughterhouses. The man whose hand is stained with the blood of an innocent animal has no right to hold it up in prayer to God, asking for mercy. The Reverend Dastur Kurshe Dabu, Vegetarian. Gracious viewers, let's take a pause and seize this moment to reflect on adding two to three more steps on our pathway to making a positive change for animal people. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Insightful viewers, welcome back to our show. Catherine Kelleher, Vegan, the Heroic Rescuer of Hen People, Part 1 of 2. At age 8, Catherine took a stand for animal people and continues to do so today through the New South Wales Hen Rescue organization she runs. She has taken her advocacy work to the mainstream via the YouTube channel NSW Hen Rescue. This platform enables her to share inspiring rescue stories and educate the public on the plight of hen people and on certain industrial practices such as free-range eggs. Let us find out more about the true meaning of this misnomer. The truth is free-range egg farms are often so packed that hens can hardly move. And the hens I've rescued from these places have clearly suffered horribly, like Lola here, who was totally bald, had been picked on in the sheds to a really bad degree. Injuries in free-range sheds often go totally unnoticed and untreated. I mean, check out this poor girl. She, her comb has been totally pecked away. The thing is, they can't establish a pecking order in these sheds with so many hens. At this free-range farm, hens were starved and dehydrated to death. Hens from free-range farms also often suffered from debeaking as well, where their beak is seared off. You can see from Sweet Pea's beak here, when she was rescued, that we could see her beak was cut right close to her nostrils. That must have been so painful. These atrocities committed in the dark settings of animal people factories are too commonplace. The realities captured by courageous advocates like Catherine expose and counter the advertising labels and claims that hen persons experience a happy and free existence. Through her endeavors, Catherine has met many like-minded, selfless, heroic individuals. I have met so many inspiring people over the years. So one woman that sticks out in my mind is Patty Mark who is the founder of Animal Liberation Victoria, which is in Australia. And she founded the Open Rescue Movement, which is where she would go into a farm where there's this animal abuse happening. She would rescue an animal. She wouldn't cover her face. And she would just walk out with this animal and say, look, I'm doing the right thing because even though it, it may be illegal, the truth is it's morally right. She was very inspiring to me because it's 
what she was willing to do for the animals. Having studied English literature, it was a natural progression for Catherine to use her talents to write a couple of books comprising animal person activism topics. She presents one of her works, Amanda, the Teen Activist, Feathers and Freedom. Amanda, the Teen Activist is also a special book to me. I wrote it for my sister. Uh, she loved books and she, she had a a disability, a severe mental and physical disability, which meant that she couldn't actually get out and save animals herself. So I wanted to write a book. Imagine if she could. So the synopsis is Amanda comes out to Australia from the UK and she's been dragged out there. She doesn't want to go. She doesn't want to leave her friends, but her dad's moved there and she has to start a new school and she's getting into trouble. And on the first day of school, she ends up getting into a bit of a fight and gets a detention. And when she gets this detention, she's made to pick up litter around the school grounds. And she does this. And at the edge of the school, she finds what turns out to be a battery farm. So a, a, a big shed full of battery cages. And she absolutely can't believe it. You know, she sneaks in, has a look and from that moment, the rest of the story unfolds because Amanda realises she has to help those hens. Radiant viewers, we give our warmest thanks to Catherine Kelleher for uplifting the lives of so many animal people. We pray that many others will be inspired by her heartfelt compassion and caring and will follow in her footsteps. Supreme Master Ching Hai thankfully present Catherine Kelleher and the New South Wales Hen Rescue with the Shining World Compassion Award plus a humble contribution of 10,000 US dollars in cheerful support of your loving efforts with gratitude and well wishes. May heavens always guide your noble work and protect you, your team and the precious animal people. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the most merciful, beloved God for all the financial help, comfort and support to the afflicted and needy and or any good cause over the years as a humble vessel for hears compassion and love toward hears precious children. For more information, please visit katherinekelleher.com and henrescue.org No to vegan. Wicked people don't choose it. Thank you all for your presence for part one of Catherine Kelleher, vegan, the heroic rescuer of hen people. Please join us on June 7th for part two of two. Coming up next is to believe in humanity and goodness is to help each other part two of seven on between master and disciples right after noteworthy news. May all sentient beings share this earth in all equity and harmony and thus build a golden era that reflects our heavenly lineage. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash VE. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique VE. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com bar inclinada VE. Barnomo hai ma shamele zaban hai besiarist. As in website ha دیدن فرمایید suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule و suprememastertv.com forward slash ve 